Ari, a mobile mage who charms and burns down her enemies using her spirit rush to dart around the battlefield. She's got 9 lives and uses every one of them to dash around your skill shots. Akali, a sneak assassin who darts in and out of combat using her shroud to stay elusive while striking down enemies. She's like a ninja, except even harder to catch and twice as annoying. Anivia, a cryo phoenix who controls zones with icy spells, freezing enemies and resurrecting to make a comeback. She's a bird that literally won't stop coming back to life. Good luck killing her twice. Annie, a pyromaniac kid who unleashes bursts of fire and summons a giant flaming bear named Tibbers. She's got a cute face, but her bear has a serious anger management issue. Aurelion Sol, a celestial dragon who drains down stars and celestial powers, pushing waves and zoning enemies with cosmic authority. He's literally a space dragon and he still has to deal with your Yasuo mid. Aurora, a burst mage who controls the field with unpredictable abilities, weaving between bursts of energy. Her toolkit's as wild as her hair, and it's equally as hard to deal with. Izir, an emperor who commands sand soldiers, poking and controlling the battlefield with precise positioning and powerful zoning. He's got an army of sand dudes, and all they really do is poke you and ruin your day. Brent, a fiery mage who lights up fights with chain reactions of flames, setting enemies ablaze and watching them burn. He's not just hot headed, he'll set the whole team on fire. Cassiopeia, a serpentine mage who deals poison damage over time, locking down enemies with petrifying gazes. She's the only one who'll make you regret not taking anti venom to lane. Corky, a yordle who flies around on a rocket fueled plane, pelting enemies with bombs and missiles. He's got a high flying lifestyle, but he still hasn't figured out how to land. Diana, a moonlit assassin who dives in and wipes out her foes with crescents and moon powered bursts. If you thought the moon was peaceful, Diana's here to correct that. Echo, a time bending assassin who rewinds time, dodges attacks, and bursts down enemies with his chrono shenanigans. Why fight fair when you can rewind your mistakes and try again? Fitz, a slippery fish. Assassin who bounces around, dodging attacks and bursting down squishy targets. He's here to make you miss every skill shot and then laugh about it. Galio, a giant stone sentinel who can taunt enemies, soak damage, and dive into fights to protect his allies. He's your best friend if you need a bodyguard and your worst enemy if you're squishy. Heimerdinger, a genius inventor who sets up turrets and pelts enemies from afar, controlling zones and outsmarting opponents. He's got brains gadgets, and way too many turrets for your liking. Quay, a versatile caster who excels at zoning enemies with bursts of elemental spells. Playing against Wei feels like walking through a minefield, just less predictable. Cassidy, a void walker who blinks around, dealing magic damage and ramping up as the game progresses. He's like a late game horror movie villain, you can run, but you can't hide. Katarina, a nimble assassin who shreds through teams with spinning blades and lightning fast resets. Blink and you'll miss her, killing your old team. Lissandra, an ice major roots, slows and bursts enemies while surviving with her icy self-preservation skills. She's ice cold and she'll make sure you freeze before you have time to react. Lux, a light mage who keeps enemies at a distance, snaring them and finishing them off with a massive laser. She'll give you a light show, but you're not gonna like how it ends. Mozart, a void mage who controls minions, silences enemies and locks them down with suppressing ultimates. He doesn't like you, and he'll make sure you can't say a word about it. Nefiri, a pack hunting assassin who jumps in for quick calls, using her pack of hounds to overwhelm foes. You thought one was bad, but she brought the whole squad. Nico, a chameleon mage who blends in with allies and surprises enemies with area of effect damage. She's the master of surprise, you're dead. Rihanna, a clockwork mage who, who commands a ball to zone shield and burst enemies with perfect precision. She's got her ball, and you're about to get played. Kiana, an elemental assassin who controls the terrain, using various elements to enhance her abilities and burst down opponents. She's a geography lesson you never wanted, because she'll make sure you know where you're not allowed to stand. Rise, a spell slinging mage who uses combos of abilities to nuke down enemies while teleporting around the map. He's got runes for days, and each one spells out trouble for you. Silas, a rebel mage who steals ultimates from enemies, using their own powers against them while healing up and dashing around. He's a definition of anything you can do, I can do better. 
Thalia, stone weaving mage who manipulates terrain, walling off enemies and pelting them with rocks from a distance. She'll make sure you take the rocky road and not the ice cream kind. Talon, a stealthy assassin who leaps over terrain and executes enemies with brutal precision. He's in, he's out and your health bar just went poof. Twisted Fate, a card wielding mage who teleports across the map, setting up plays and catching enemies of guard with stuns and bursts. He's got a card for every situation, and none of them are good for you. Vagar, a tiny mage who skills infinitely, trapping enemies and nuking them with dark matter from above. He's small, but his damage numbers are anything but. Malkus, a void creature who fires lasers and dissects enemies from a distance, melting health bars with a barrage of beams. He's got eyes everywhere, but all of them are laser focused on your demise. Vex, a gloomy yordle who punishes dashes and bursts down enemies with a shadowy arsenal of fear-inducing spells. She hates everything, especially your attempts to escape. Victor, a machine-powered mage who evolves his abilities over time, zoning and bursting down foes with a mix of tech and magic. He's here to show you why technology is terrifying. Vladimir, a blood mage who drains health, regenerates and becomes untargetable, outlasting enemies with his vampiric powers. He's got more blood than a horror movie, and it's probably yours. Zerath, a long-range mage who blasts enemies from across the map, raining down spells with incredible precision. He's basically a sniper, but with more magic and less subtlety. Yasuo, a sword-wielding warrior who dashes around and uses wind to deflect projectiles, going all in with his ultimate. He's the wind, and he'll make sure you get every breeze. Yone, uh, Yasuo's brother who combines swift dashes, lifesteal, and high damage to obliterate enemies with stylish combos. If Yasuo tells you, wait until you meet his overachieving brother. Zed, a shadowy assassin who blinks around the map, leaving shadows and slicing through squishy targets with ease. Is the last thing you see before your screen goes grey. Zix, a bomb tossing yordle who blasts enemies, turrets, and objectives with explosive power and chaotic flare. He's got more bombs than a firework show and he's not shy about using them.